Alright guys, welcome back to my Norzalea Hard Difficulty campaign. I believe this is part 12, but I'm not sure. Uh, forgive me if that is incorrect, but basically, uh, Manus Elysia and United Allies of Relva are the only two other nations that are left. We have about, I don't know, I'd say more than 75% of, of the bases, and we still have uh, more than our fair share of, of turns left to go. So I think we're in a really good spot. Look at this. Masseliz has one, two, three, four, five, six bases, if I can't count correctly. Two, f oh, five. They only have five. Got it. Wow. Um, and they're actually not doing very well economically. So one thing I like to take a look at real quick to see how a nation is doing. Is looking at their mana reserve and what's their expected mana income. You could probably just demolish them through sheer, um, what do you call it, economic attrition. Uh, United Islands of Morelva, however, are actually doing quite well for themselves economically. Uh, let's see here. So they've got, they're capped at that 9999 mana reserve, and they've got an expected mana income of 1000. Um, and so just real quick, guys, I was playing around earlier, and I, uh, well, let me do what I, I did first, because I, I kind of had to, to reload a save since I, I classed someone the wrong way. But basically okay these guys are good in here I think I summoned some units well I classed I class up this thing into a nightmare and then I uh, summoned a giant snake and a golem here to fit everyone perfectly but look on the oh, maybe it's not on the screen at the Left hand side apparently you can only ha have a hundred monsters, otherwise they won't be summoned anymore. Look at that, it says max. I was not aware that that was a thing, so we're gonna have to reconsolidate our troops. Um, unfortunately, yeah, totally, totally was not expecting that, but um, this is where we are at. I thought I made these things fit earlier. What did I do? Hmm. Okay, that obviously doesn't work. Here. There we go. Now it fits. Cool. Um, so, Glenn is good. Zagist. I decided that I'm going to quest Elena into the ruins she has three outlook there and we only need three units to attack nor nor bass anyway um and i did have some units in here that i need to release i don't know why you can be captain monsters though that's uh really not the most awesomest thing in the world to be honest hmm Okay, and we have, so basically what this is saying is that we really need to get rid of units that we're not going to use. So I'm going to use this one as man eater. And then we just got to swap out, who's the weaker one? This left one's clearly the weaker one for that. And unfortunately we've got to release these two. Released, released. So they're gonna attack down there. And I don't believe there's any class ups required anymore. They're exciting though, they're about to get into their second tier. And here was uh, my mistake earlier. I was trying to class up Ball to the fighter type up availability, but I don't want him to become a knight, I want him to become a swordsman. There we go. And I just want him to kind of finish out his his thief line here real quick. He's almost five proficiency, so we want to make sure he finishes that. But hold on. So the most important thing here is Gallist. I uh, have two dragons in here that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to use. Not both of them anyway. 
Looks like this dragon has oh no, it is on judgment clause. Okay, so we're gonna stick with this group, Bajera, Grados, and Rubino. Fifty 60 and 20. Hmm. Actually, not doing that. 80 is what we're left with. Could probably just put in this dragon there. Okay. This looks like that's good. And as far as units, we do have some, some slack remaining, but. Uh, we are not gonna do anything in terms of giving everyone units. Alejandro is pretty good at questing. So, you can just quest. We don't really need you to do anything else. Um, so we also battled here last time. Based on all the units in the class changes. Bard type up. Interesting, okay. Can be a minstrel. And what is your other class, Theodora? Archer. Okay. Interesting. You know what? I think she can stay as a, a minstrel for now. Class is good there. Ariana is good there. But we definitely need to put in these new units. It doesn't look like they're all going to fit. Hmm. Okay, I can get rid of a level 2 wolf. That's fine. Now, how do I, I'd like to put in a, eh, is this really what we're going to end up with? Hmm, I'd rather have a dragon, quite frankly. I guess this is level 5, so perhaps this is what we end up with. Those guys should just stay there. Apparently we're really down in CP here. Okay, so... The issue here is that if I do attack Zai or Althenia, we are exposed to the other one. So I think we would want six in here. We would want six fully stacked units is what I'm thinking um, which means I think we could pull two from here man these uh this consolidating troop thing has been really interesting okay so she and she on and keep questing. Leonel, you know, keep training. Looks like everyone is good. So train, quest. Alternia, we got three units in here who aren't doing anything. Perhaps we move them all to Narage, and that solves our problem. I think it might. Alright. Move him to Narage. Solves our problem there. So the story I just attacks. Okay. And then draw one to Minz. Who do we want? So GU for sure. Cimerius is a pretty good monster, like, pretty strong. So, GU, Cimerius, and Galavard. Is that what we're, what we're doing here? 
Hmm. Okay, and then we send these two on quests. Ball. You're level 10, okay. Yeah, let's just see what happens with training grounds with those units. Okay, so two are questing. These guys can invade. These guys are moving here to protect. These guys can invade. These guys can invade, and I believe one unit is questing. Perfect. Oh. I don't actually need these units here, although... That's right, huh? I could technically leave this open. Hmm. We could we could quest all on these, is what I'm saying. Because we have the highest higher CP anyway. And we could just take care of that. Oh boy. Let's see if this works for us. Lee Nora, you're not that high level. Okay, these guys hopefully move down there. Alright, one thing I didn't do yet, our equipment. We have an ice knife. Okay. Oh my goodness. Ice knife, sacred male, priestly robe. Interesting. Hmm. I can equip this guy with one of them. Here, you can take this from uh, just a regular unit there. Okay. Hmm. You, sir. Can use one of these, huh? Dragon scale armor, sacred mail. Okay. Works for me. Who do we give this ice knife to, though? Oh, Shizzler. Could use dragon scale armor. Hmm. This is an interesting question. Okay, we we just need a golden sword. Oh yeah, we got a bonus here for wearing all. Wait, what class is this? Ranger. Hmm. Come on, guys. Take the ice knife. Dragon scale armor? You can have that. I think Ball can use it, but he's not like fighting right now, so, whatever. She's a thief unit. Can I? Where is the list info? Knights. I guess this doesn't really tell me what, um, classes they are, huh? Though... Looking at them, it's like a barbarian unit. Elena is uh, what? Oh, looks like a dual wield type. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess everything's equipped right now. Everything is equipped, and we need to give light bracers to one of these units. I 
Actually, we should give that to the units that are about to battle. List monsters. Let's see. Lizard man. Gallus. Only, only, only one in Gallus. Okay. Let's see. He probably already has one, to be honest. He does. Okay, let's just give it to this guy. Level 1 lizard man getting spoiled with some equipment. Okay. So these guys are all questing, right? Perfect. Glenn is gonna attack. Gallus is gonna attack. These guys are gonna attack. These guys are gonna attack. These guys are gonna attack. The longer later into the game, obviously, there's a little bit more kind of management that has to happen. I think we can uh, save and. Oof, oops, I've scared me. Alright, and face. Everyone should have moved or, or should be questing other than those who plan on attacking. Which it looks like that is the case. So, first things first. You attack Norbass. You guys attack port side. Awesome. Narridge. Oof. I think we take Zai. Looks like they're weaker. Yeah, attacking this sounds like a terrible idea. To be honest. Besides, we can always just attack, you know, assuming we successfully invade Norbass, we just attack Anthelnia. Yep, we're attacking Zai. It's a weaker one of the two. These guys. Ooh, Ragnarok is pretty much free. It's like they're just giving that away. Cimarius, I'm not happy about your double iron golem nonsense here, buddy. Look at this. We probably aren't going to play all of them, to be honest, but... This is uh, what the invasion plan looks like. Yep, I'm assuming they try to attack the Zagus probably. But <clears throat> that's a good strat right there. In case you're wondering. Decent terrain. A. B. Oh. Does have a few flying units. And you know what? That's fine. Bajir's units are probably the weakest anyway. Why are the United Islands of Morello involved in this war? What's to be gained from Bunch of Pirates ruling the world? So that's a bring being of justice, huh? But that would fetch a nice price. I think I'll be taking it from you. <laughs> you you wouldn't. Eh, don't pretend for a moment that you wouldn't take ours given the opportunity, but don't expect to outwit a parrot when it comes to plundering. <laughs> We're not here to take anything. Our reasons for fighting are completely different. Prince Ruby now allow me to teach you something important about us pirates. When it comes to something we truly want, we're always willing to risk our lives to get it. Now prepare. Turn one. All right. Well, they have a lot of uh, mermaid-ish units. All right. Dragon. 
They can move these guys. What level is this? Level four. Do we throw that in? That's a good question here. This one's level three. I think I'd be happy throwing this in. Usually, so, when I say throw in, I mean, like, sometimes when you engage an enemy and, um, basically the first time they, like, engage your unit, they go all out into battle mode. So, when you're attacking and they're defending, they're just gonna sit here until that first engagement is what I've found. So when I say throw something in, I literally mean, like, throwing them in there, like... Making them be bait, you know? Because it's just easier to defend. Um, especially if you've already kind of set up a, a front line <clears throat> that, you, that you like. So you could easily set up a front line and kind of wait for them. Obviously, it's really good with dragons too because once you already have the dragons lined up, you just spam your breath attacks and... You know, it's actually quite good. All right, so it doesn't look like we'll need to throw anything in. I think we are uh, going to be good here. Doing it like this. They may target this mermaid because she is low, lower level. Um, let me move this one right here. They usually also, AI targeting, usually go for the lower level units. So if you have a ghoul, they'll like almost always go for that. As opposed to like a dragon or something like that. Looks like they are moving up, so we didn't necessarily have to engage. And there's Stella. It is like a mana upgraded mermaid, but I mean, you know, you you win some, you lose some, and it's okay to lose some. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's not like we're struggling here. We're doing fine. Ooh, we can move a unit to attack Stella like immediately. And another one or two to attack. You know, I'm gonna move this unit here. I feel pretty confident that we will be fine here. Or does the Cyclops do a better job at it? Looks like we just take more damage. And we can always heal this unit with, um, Grados, if necessary. I'm gonna move him right here, close enough to use his, his he has like a two hex attack or something like that, so it's gonna be okay. Let's see, Cyclops over here. Oh my goodness, maybe we don't want to hyperfist that. Jeez. That's some crazy damage, man. Okay, it doesn't do as well against this one. Cool. Uh, the faint part is not cool. Sure, we can hyper fist. It would be painful to lose any of these upgraded units because they are like level 20 ish, you know. They may go after the lizard man. Let's just get some damage here against a weak unit. Alright. Your turn. Move up. Bajira. And these units won't be as useful because they're just too slow in the back. Though, I mean, they'll eventually get to fight, but. It's just gonna be a little different. Okay. 
So let's see here. We could move up and iron slash this. Which isn't terrible. Or we could divine ray. Ah, I guess we don't reach for a divine ray there. What is your damage here, sir? I just want to see. Not the greatest. Okay. I think it's fine if we move Gratos in in here. And good defense skill. Now, I'm considering either we use Thunder. Which doesn't do that much. Or we use React. Which means he gets another act at it. Let's see, Divine Ray, 181. Holy Break is also quite good, but again, we don't. Accuracy is low, plus we don't really finish him off. Finish her off, so. I think we stick with that Holy Break here. Just get her low enough. And I do want to put some pressure on on the unicorn. If they go for this unit, that's going to be fine. And I'm moving this unit here because the numb powder can actually hit Stella from afar without, you know, getting retaliation damage back, which is always nice. Alright, and now that this dragon's gonna move up here for some. for setting up the breath next turn. And just making our line uh, kind of protected from the top. Alright. They're clearly targeting this. Interesting that you frosted that. I'd imagine it would do more damage if you frosted the dragon, but I kind of expected that it would take a lot of damage, but not that much. So I may need to pull that unit back. Again, we, we don't want to lose this unit. It, it's it survived this long, and uh, dragon's destruction. Oh man. Oh no. It's gonna double frost. We lose that unit. Man, well, you served me well. Maybe if we get a revive stone, we'll get your back, but just didn't work out for us, it looks like. There is a chance that we get, you know, some of their upgraded siren units, which aren't nearly as good but the frost does offer some flexibility as you can see right there I mean it was it was pretty good let's see ice breath I'm happy doing that again no taking damage back oh you can't miss that man Hmm. Let's see. Do we blizzard shot here? Leaves him at 27 health. Well, let's do something first. I think we always, always, always. Oh my goodness. Didn't realize that damage was so low. Oh, we did get debuffed, didn't we? We did get debuffed. So, I guess I just realized the weakness of this team is we don't really have like a healer or anything like that. I'm going to pull this guy back. I don't want to lose this unit. Um, let's see. This is decent damage. Let's see, Fallberg doesn't clean him up. I 
Who goes next? Bajira goes next. I can defeat this guy with Bajira. 135 MP. Okay, 165 doing that. 97 doing this. And this one. 95% accuracy and does 218. I think we take this. It said miss. I think that's re referring to the faint. Yeah, let's give this one to Bajir. Oh, cool. We, we took an equipment. Yeah, leave your uh, siren. Okay, fine. Leave me a golem then. Give me two golems. Hashtag feels bad, man. Yeah, I'm happy to throw this dragon in. It's level one. Have at it. Oh, looks like there are. There's also this unit here. If it ain't upgraded, I don't care about it. I can't believe we lost the uh, Cyclops, though. Oh, I just felt terrible. Should be Greatest' move now. Alright. Good for you, Rock. What can we do with 73 MP? Protect. I like that. I like the protect there. And I don't even think we can paralyze her, but it's just free damage and it missed. I don't think that dragon is really in harm's way here. Hmm. Holy slash. Oh, I feel like we should divine ray here. Just so we don't take the damage back. I think that's a good idea. How? I'm actually very surprised we haven't gotten an ancient dragon here yet. I'm just gonna speed these guys up. They're just gonna attack my two weak units. And none of it really matters. In the grand scheme of things. Hey, okay, so it's Rubino's turn. Interesting. Wasn't it just my turn? Oh, Fallberg. Looks like we can take care of that. Pretty well. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. I get it. There's a little bit of friendly fire. Oh, she skips her turn because we leveled up, I think. I was like, we just went. Now that makes that makes total sense. Guinea. What's how much damage do you do if you just battle straight up? Eh, 213, was that just as much? No. Eh, a little bit less, but. Alright. Alright, sir. You're doing a great job. Keep doing you. Frost, 
awesome sauce. Oh. <coughs> they left us a few units for, uh, for what they did to our Cyclops, I guess. That was a pretty fast battle. Not very thrilled about the golems, to be honest. The only probably serviceable unit in there was the upgraded mermaid. Because it can charm, um, and it can use frost, so you, you can kind of use it as like a caster mage from the back line. Um, Obviously not not a great tank, but we don't need that in in this composition because we already have so many dragons and well we used to have the Cyclops, but goodbye, sir. All right, this should be also relatively easy. Battle of Raglant. All right, so we got flying units. I think Sylvie should do go in there first. Maximilian, the unicorn. Oh, did I mess up? I only deployed two. Okay, I was like, whoa, 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 man, not cool. I mean, we could still win with two, but it would just be it should just be really easy here. All right. Matthias, you can move. Woohoo! Alright. Angel over here. And the unicorn, even though it's not like flying or anything, dude moves at pretty mobile. So that's really good for us. Angel and Archangel here. Let's see. I'm okay if they engage the Pegasus so long as it doesn't like die. Eh, who do you, what do you know? The golem moves so slow, man. Okay. If I were them, I would not move, you know. But it's up to them. They want to move, and they can move. All right, maybe, I guess Angel can only go here. Unicorn, I don't wanna put my unicorn like two in the front. You don't really have any units that, um, you know what, I'm gonna throw this unit in here. I don't think they'll, go for that but worth a shot oh we can actually engage him with sylvie i'm gonna put this unit in the river okay this is still meadow it's not water yet Yeah, I don't want to put Sylvie in harm's way here, although, even though I don't think they'll actually go for us there. Just play it safe. And it looks like this is enough incentive for them, the Sea Serpent, to move forward. Or that's uh, just a really quick retreat there. That's not, That wasn't even a battle, thanks for the 3 EXP in the base. I guess we can tell him thanks. Unibros. Can't wait to see our quest rewards, guys.
All right. I mean, first one was actually a battle. Second one, they just retreated. Can't blame him. It's three versus one. All right. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this one. Oh man. Why am I not looking forward to this one? Because invading with the iron golem. And I think we have to cross uh do we have to cross water here? Oh no, this one's not terrible. Okay. We can work with this one. We have to throw an elemental to entice some Gotta show Captain Stella my good side. Okay, let's try to get to the land, the road here. And we do have a Kotol. Oh, it's actually level 19. Which means it's very close to turning into a Bahamut. Alright, check this mobility out. <laughs> Why are those units a thing, man? Seriously. I get it, you know, it's, it's with the character, their golems are supposed to be slow, like they're big, bulky creatures. But come on, man! Give them a little bit of movement speed. It's like. They joined the battle, but it's like too late. Oh, poor enemy. They got some like really weak units. Okay, move my holy dragon there. This might be enough to entice them. Yeah, I think so. So we're not... I should move these here to the side to not take up space. Okay, good. And you are on the road. Move over here so we can heal those elementals if they need healing. And sea serpent. There we go. They are moving up now. That was an annoying move. They don't seem to want to attack though. That's that's really interesting. Galavard. Good job, sir. Although now he is actually blocking the breath attack of our uh, dragon there, but hopefully that's okay. Hmm. I'm going to move this unit here. I think it'll be fine, hopefully, since we have the 20% evasion. Looks like we're going to be going against some... Um, the golems and the gigas is typically lower accuracy units, so... Oh, you doing that? Hi, man. Very brave. I admire you for your bravery. You are one brave swordsman. As I say, low accuracy, we get hit. Okay. See, it's fine. It's not big of a deal. Big of a deal. Oh, Galavard. Can move my unit here. The damage. Okay. 
I think we can just attack from here. And then... It doesn't wipe them. Let's see here. Holy word, maybe? Oh, you don't have holy word. Isn't that fantastic? Hmm. That kind of sucks that there's no holy word available there. That's okay. Woohoo! Great level up. Stand by. Alright, see Marius. Guess this is all you. Yeah, I'm gonna spend some uh, MP to make sure that we just guarantee. Well, not guarantee, 93% is better than like the 80 plus, so. Very cool. Frankly, we don't care about those units. They may retreat though. The sea serpent's got a pretty good breath angle. Hitting four units. Wow, that was really nice. Let's uh, spend this turn to heal Simarius. You really got me with that draw trick, man. Alright. Let's move this unit over here. Now we target that unit. Or, maybe we should have targeted that. This is actually a better breath. Yeah, maybe I should have targeted that, huh? Too bad this guy doesn't have anything that can reach that. Nice, uh, good. Interesting. So, uh, they don't want to retreat, it looks like. Took out my centaur. I don't think we really need to heal here. G with the swing. Nice. This breath actually takes care of him. Quite nicely. Acquiring equipment? I'll take it. There we go. This elemental is not in range anymore. Perhaps we take care of the golem, I mean goblin. And then the other one I think could hit the rune knight. Well, it can, but we'd be out of the, the range, the rune. I don't want to be out of the rune. Let's just do it like this.
Now it's still our turn, huh? Get this thing. You guys. Stop missing. Hmm. Yeah, that is quite far. I think we just stick here. Uh, yeah, let's move out the rune range. Shouldn't be a big deal. And they should just retreat here. Oh my goodness, are you joking? Why aren't they retreating? Like, what is happening? Why aren't you guys retreating, man? Oh, great. I was playing this whole time, hoping that they would just retreat, but... It's like they're not interested in that. Okay, good. Let's attack this regular attack. Oh, we can use Prism Shot this way. Good. Awesome job. Okay, before we move up with that, let's uh, go ahead and heal it. I'm going to lose a uh, sea serpent for a silly mistake. There you go. Oh man. Really questionable decision there, but. Very, very questionable. I wonder what happens, because I think this puts us over the, the monster limit again. Everything we've captured so far. So I think one, two more battles. I'm trying to think. I think out east we got one more. I think we got two more actually. I think we're attacking Zai as well, aren't we? Oh boy. I was like, maybe we're not gonna play them all. Looks like we are. At least we'll do this one and then we'll see where we're at. So if all succeeded, we captured five bases in one season. So, pretty good. Oh, this is the big capital capital. Oh boy. All right. Nice looking capital you guys got there. What? You can feel the melodies? Good for you. Good for you that you can feel the melodies, dude. This is battle. Can you focus a little bit, man? We have so many healing. So much healing here. Like, it's crazy. 
I'm gonna move my dragon closer to the road. Same here. Might throw in a level 3 uh, wyvern for them. To entice them. Yeah, I'd rather not fight in there, especially since their ground units are going to get a bonus. I do have uh, quite a bit of flying units, so that's not going to be ideal for me. Because I don't get the bonus, but I do get the penalty because they're in it, if you look at it that way. Yeah, we, we gotta get these guys out of there. Hmm. We can just make the line there. I think that's probably good enough. I think this is good. Dragon over here. We are throwing in this level 3 wyvern. See if they bite here. If not, we'll. That dragon should be okay with that, but. Oh, they're not okay. That's interesting, then. Sorry, level three wyvern. You have to go in there. Now they feel like we've engaged them, so we're gonna pull this wyvern back if we can. If not, there we're just gonna wait for them. Oh, what is this? Cursed lullaby. Also inflicts poison and silence, huh? Good for them, dude. But again, we gotta get him out. Engage my line, if you would. So, I don't want to move forward. I think we keep where we're at. We can use boulder toss, though. I have a boulder. Hmm. I'm happy moving this unit up though. Actually, no. Let me just move this one here. I think we're good. Okay. I think we're good here also. Oof. Yep, they see the wyvern as the weakest unit, so they're gonna go for it. So I'm gonna pull this one slightly back. We're gonna try to have a tighter formation. Or actually, what am I doing? I could do something like this. That's not terrible, right? Yes. Hmm. 
Mm, do this here. So that we can also attack the this unit with the rock. Perhaps see if I made my wyvern stay. We would have done more damage, but we'll make it work. Okay, so everyone's pretty spread out here. They're kind of going around our line. Which is not ideal. But... I think we can make it work. I... Kind of like using the breath here, but... Oh. Leaves him at 10 HP. Okay. You know what? This is kind of unorthodox. Let the Pegasus finish it off. You're joking, dude. 83% and you miss. That's pretty terrible. This leaves my dragon out of the way. Out of the rune area. You know, I think we move slightly here because of everything that's happened. It's crazy, I know. Giant Punisher, Boulder Toss. 40% accuracy, but look at the damage. <laughs> oh man, alright. I don't really like healing if I can see their full health. Uh, if it's Fortnite, so, because that means you're you're probably likely giving up some some healing. That's kind of how I see it. Hmm. Good, good, good. Hope this unit just keeps pushing people back. Is that what I'm seeing here? Very nice. Ah, oh, if only Holy Word reached there. Let's move back a little bit. Oh really? Oh my goodness, let's not lose units here for a really clumsy mistake. AKA my Pegasus. Or my Kotal. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you that that missed. Don't really know who that healed. Except for her. Maybe a dragon? Alright, here. You're really not gonna hit that with a thunder? Ridiculous, okay. Good job, Rock. Awesome. Okay, left two units, cool. Okay, who goes next after Theodora? Cyrus goes next. I think we play this one safe and protect this. Just in case. 
You're gonna move up? He's still going, guys. He's absolutely still going. He should push me back with his attack. Which actually should give way for this. Oh, 100% accuracy, but... Would Vortimar do better? Yes. It was 98%. I could have haloed if I if it was lower, but felt like it was good enough. We are capturing a lot of units here. I'll heal the rock. You can heal the Kotal. Actually, no, you move away, dude. What, what am I saying? There's no way you guys stay here. Come on. Just leave already, guys. Whew. Critical hit. I think this is safe enough. Oh my goodness, maybe they're not retreating because it's their capital or they're like cut off or something. I don't know what's happening, but they, sh they should be retreating. Go over here, please. Thank you. Skill, curse, lullaby. Oh, I guess we don't reach, huh? Hmm. Okay, this is pretty decent. Yay, we can upgrade that to a, a phoenix, I think, is what we want. Oh boy, that needs to get healed right now. Do you have heal or cure? Probably heal, and then we'll cure with the other unit. Job well done. Okay. I could technically get Divine Raid there, but... Do it if you dare, is my answer to that. job oh actually we could do this we could heal Ariana just in case Good job, good heal. It's weird, like they're hitting him now, even though they've already been captured. What happens when you guys are battling on the same side next time? Okay, we've triggered them to retreat. Nice. 
Did we lose units there? Uh, the wyvern that we threw in, I think. I think the best units to probably do those are, you know, obviously wyvern, but it does cost 60 mana pull. Wolves are also pretty good if it's just all land, because um, they have pretty high mobility and they only cost 35 to your mana pool. So level one high dogs or wolves or whatever you want to call them. Oh, I think they were trying to attack us. Or maybe they were trying to attack Vestalis. Okay, so this is clearly going to be the toughest one, I think. It's pretty even. It is pretty even. Alright. So, let's put Brendan, Farrick, and Augustus. I think this is the first time these guys have... I think it's the first time I'm using Augustus, so... Oh my goodness, they got a lot of units. Good, your defenses are imp imp What? What did he say? Impenetrable or whatever? Well... We we're attacking, so talk about your attack, man. Move up. Oh, oops. Did not want to do that. Alright, this elemental is actually level 8, which means we probably don't want to throw it in. Uh, I'll have to figure out once we get closer which unit we want to throw in. If that ghoul is level 1, I may just throw that one in, or if the wyvern's level 1, I'm okay with that too. Is this how you guys fight? Let, let, let me know, like, do you guys just go all in? Or do you guys kind of set up your front line and then, you know, bait, a, bait using a unit that you don't really care about? Is that like an upgraded sea serpent? Hold on, what is this nonsense? Oh no, it just looked different. Yeah, they looked a little different. Okay, you can move up here. Level 4. I think I'm okay throwing that in. The ghoul's level 5. Also okay throwing that in. Would prefer if my level 17 revenant would survive though. And then get to the next upgraded thing. And again, you do have 12 turns, so for the most part, you can take your time. Like setting up your your defenses, or whatever you call them. Your front line. Let's call it that, your front line. Okay, stand by. They're still not threatened, so they're not going to move up yet. Alright. That giant snake is level 1. Looks like they are moving up now. Just have to be close enough. Let's see. I think this is actually fine. And we just move the wyvern in front. Ghoul to the right. Revenant here to the right. Healers everywhere. We might have to curve our thing. I don't know. I'm just like kind of. I don't explain it properly, but we do, we probably do want to curve it. Uh, I think we'll get a better angle if we wait here on the elemental. So kind of making a, a U shape towards them is what I'm thinking. If that makes sense at all. 
the sea serpent of mine does have pretty good pretty good angle for a breath though hmm I think we do this regardless like no matter what I think we do this but first we have how many healers do we have? I think this guy can heal. One, two. I'm debating whether or not we use weakness. I guess we can't even reach it, so. Bad thought. Plus, they're not. Maybe the, their uh, runites aren't that strong anyway. To our weakness. Shouldn't be an issue. Great. I think we can heal. Uh, I think waiting is actually not the worst thing in the world. We're just attacking, moving up a little bit. And here's what I meant by kind of curving around. I still don't have an angle on the runites. Okay. Now the Swyvern definitely could use some healing. Hmm. Make that use the breath. You want to move up here? Just kind of close the line here. Fortunately, my sea serpent doesn't have a good angle on anything. Perhaps moving here, replacing the, the ghoul next turn would be okay. It's clearly not going to survive very long, so... Alright, well, is this your time to shine here? Geno Flame. Literally, I don't think he gets much better than this. Yeah, heal this unit. Hmm. Do we try to rip move here? And like replace it with this elemental? These are questions that need to be answered, man. Hmm. Here, what I will do here though is Move our upgraded ghoul up. I'm gonna put the elemental right over here for a prism shot at the rune knight. And then we just wait here. Wow. Also, do you guys like it when it's fast forwarded or? Because sometimes I feel like the battle is too slow if you kind of already know what you're doing. But let me know. I'm going to move this up. We're going to attack before we do that. Never want to get ahead of myself here, but we can use weakness on Umimaru. Brings our attack and defense down. So hopefully we do more damage doing this. Let's see. 
Divine Break is quite good here, to be honest. Awesome job. Ninety-five. Okay, do we at least nine, do ninety-five damage with the breath? I think we do. The wyvern does get put in a precarious situation, so I think we'll take the safe, safe and slower play here. Man. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, looks like uh, the slower play here is, is going to deal quite a bit of casualties to us. And it exposed my uh, sorcerer here. Oh, you got a pretty good breath attack in here. Nice job. Mm. Yeah, we can aqua splash this way. Move Ferric up. So, let's see. I think only that level 1 Sea Serpent isn't with me. Or this Golem too, huh? It's not like it's fighting. Great job. They're all so low, dude. Geno Flame would be awesome once again. Ooh, we do take one out. It's just too good. Too good to pass that up, you know? I really need to heal this unit though. Otherwise, bad things could happen. Alright, really good damage there. Oh, okay, attacking Ferric instead of the ghoul. Never mind, spoke too soon. Dude, don't lose to a bunch of wolves, man. No, 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 man. Your HP. Okay, we can take Umimaru. And then whoever that C Runite is. Oh no. What does that do? Not really gonna share what he did there. Hmm. Looks like he's playing it safe. Does I think this he can take him out? Prism shot. Yep. Or this unit. It's 
might even be better. This is probably better here. So we get upgrade elemental. Oh, what do you know? They left theirs anyway. Go ahead and heal. Heal units. What level is this? It's only level one. Oh, they didn't leave it. It was. Uh, what am I saying? It's with Umimaru. Alright, better hit here. I should use Halo. Whew! Got a little scared there. Oh! Alright, maybe I didn't speak too soon. Left the elemental for us. Awesome job. Take those. Man, this is getting fun. How would you want to return to a lower level class anyway? That tip was, was kind of silly. We literally invaded five bases right there. Death Valley, have you heard of it before General Grados? Well, I am quite proud of my extensive information network in Renergia, I'm afraid I've never heard of such a place. Hmm, I've never heard of it either. I thought so, but according to Pick, he met another bear in the last town He said he ran into a monster in that valley he'd never seen before. Was that right, Pick? Yeah. But then, us Barrett fairies have senses that are so much more sensitive than those of mankind. We're pretty sharp, if I do say so myself. Oh, my apologies for being from the dull race of men. Well, anyway, it probably just picked up a strange scent with an extremely sensitive nose from this Death Valley place. If there really is a monster out there that nobody has ever seen, we can't very well ignore it. You don't think it could be the sky piercer? The what? That is what they call the beast known as Endorian, but it couldn't possibly. Endorian. Yes, it's said that in ancient times the Renites were utterly defeated by this great evil. It can't be. Oh, and that's not all. They say there was a girl riding on the back of the monster. Right pick? Yeah, a girl. Do you think a beast that opposes the will of the rune god could inhabit the very land he bestowed upon us? In any event, we must not let her guard down your grace. Agreed, though I do wonder where this death valley can be. Alright, so in the original, I think, if I remember correctly, there was some called Bolnoil, who's like the... He's not necessarily from the seven or the six nations or whatever it is, but like an endgame kind of boss, if you will. Um, so perhaps this is this version of that. That's that's really interesting. Because I don't think they would just bring that up unless something were actually true. Like, you know, I, I don't think they just have that dialogue. Elixir of magic, cool. Great job questing, people. <clears throat> awesome job. Alright. First things first. Save. 
All right. Wow, wasn't that interesting? So it looks like Minerva, Minerva, yeah, as of Minerva. Is it or is it Minerva? I think it's M M Minerva. I don't know what I'm doing. How could I forget? Mirelva. They've got four bases. These guys have got three bases, which I can invade in any order I, I want. It's really just about um, taking over Morelva now, but I think we are uh, essentially there. Did we unlock Death Valley then? Why did they talk about it? Oh man. Well, I think I'll do my management another time, but that was quite fun. I already know that this is going to be a really fun battle against uh, Grados. This going to be his last stand in Alphania. Hopefully the battlefield is good. Looks like it is just pretty straight up, you know, they're, they're up against mountains. Take my Nairidge units out, move them somewhere else. Zai probably attacks there. Ragrant units probably attack this so that the port side units can continue down south. Um, let's see how much money they have. Okay, they're still capped at 9999, but I'm assuming they're going to spend a lot. He's gone into the negative. So that's not good for him. Troops. Units. I just want to see something here. Oh, so he does let you go over the max, I think, if you capture units. But would they let you put it in? Do they? Maybe they do. Interesting. Well, in any case, save again. And uh, I'll catch you later. We are almost done with this, everyone. Almost done. See ya.